because you two are friends and you have worked together professionally before at Portland Stage Company, in fact, what is it like when you're directing someone who's a friend and maybe that person isn't giving you quite the performance you want? Are you a little reluctant to maybe offer some criticism or some suggestions or is it actually easier because you are friends? I find that it's easier to direct this friend. We knew each other when we had a survival job together, waiting tables. We're very different in terms of the way we work. I am like an eagle looking at the big picture and Tracy is like a mouse looking at the details. So it is, we have a really good relationship because when I try to soar above like an eagle, she's like, ah, ah, ah. no, give me the nitty gritty. And then you can go back to your esoteric brain things. Sir, steady, breezy. And also because I am really, really patient, I'm really, really good at dealing with Kevin, give me a quick description of just the basic premise of the story in where we stand. What is it about? It is about, with, with no spoilers, it is about the members of our community whom we embrace and the ones that we don't embrace. Wouldn't you like some relief? Wouldn't you like your day to break even instead of breaking you down? And the basic question of the piece is, who are you going to embrace right now? I was looking at the professional biographies for both of you, and there were a couple of things that stood out. Um, under skills, Tracy, you have listed excellent mover. So I want to ask you, Kevin, does that ring true or does that sound like a bit of embellishment? Would you say that Tracy is in real life an excellent mover? You put me in an awful position. <laughs> you say that first, I'm, and I may never forgive you. But what I will tell you is that, especially a play like this one that is really, really physical, it is difficult. So I will say, and I'm going to turn to her and say it, you're doing a great job. You're, you are an excellent mover for, for this piece. Walking to the theater is a challenge. I am, I am done for the day the moment I arrive to the theater because that's more physical going than I have done in 16 months. On a right, Tracy, Tracy, now you get to uh, get back at Kevin. On Kevin's professional page, it says uh, of him, never uses the delicate cycle when doing laundry. <laughs> Does that sound about right? Wow, I love, I did not know that it said that. Um, we have been friends for 20 something years and his wardrobe has been a conversation, an evolving conversation through the decades. Um, I'm disappointed. I'm wondering if that's newly added because there was a period in his life where I was very proud of his wardrobe. That time has passed. <laughs> <laughs> I like right. the shirt though. That I did compliment the shirt. We're still in pandemic mode a little bit with our dress. And so, uh, yes, he probably does not use the delicate cycle. One last question, Tracy, and this is again off of uh, your bio, and I like it when people have a sense of humor on these kinds of things, and you clearly do. Among your skills, it says, can do hair, face, and nails on the A-train. Is that accurate? Absolutely. Absolutely. And I gained those skills because I had to. Uh, the A-train in Manhattan, which is the train that I use to get downtown to the theater district, um, has a long stretch, and I live at the end. I live on the, at the last stop. So it's usually empty for the beginning of my ride. And I did a show years ago in the theater district where the theater was shared by many shows and we didn't have a lot of dressing room time because shows were changing over. So I had to come ready. So all that prep got done on the train. 